All right, hey fire signs. So I'm doing a new moon read and you're gonna see timestamps below um, for your um, personal reading. And uh, you guys, I'm just gonna start right out with the um, with Aries. So find your timestamp, you guys. So Aries, you're up first and we're gonna see what the new moon will bring you. So your moon card, Aries your moon card all right so you guys are coming out with two or three i'll keep them all um it says you are good enough with the full moon in virgo you guys have show the world the real you with the full moon in aquarius and a time for healing with the balsamic moon all right so i just feel like with these cards coming through some of you guys could be kind of going through a rough a rough patch right now um, you know, and it could be, um, look at this. I mean, a time for healing, you are good enough and show the world, the real you, um, this right here is just telling me whoever's kind of needing to see these messages. Um, you really need to put that focus back into you. And I kind of have to tell you guys, it's like, if, uh, um, you felt like you haven't been good enough for other people or other energies, you can't think like that. You guys most likely, um, you could be, uh, putting yourself in situations around people that don't actually deserve your energy. Um, I, I find that through my own personal experiences sometimes that when people make me feel like I don't fit in or I'm not good enough, whether it's a, you know, um, a family or whatever the situation is, um, I, most oftentimes I just find that I need to draw my energy back um, because I don't want nobody deducting from me. And I feel like whatever, whoever is here, Aries, um, that energy, um, I just almost feel like you're, you're, somebody's deducting from you in such a way it's time to kind of reel yourself back in. You have this card coming through. I always trust the direct, the direction of the universe and know I am being guided. All right. And so if you guys are kind of being called to kind of pull away from energies that are kind of doing you a disservice, you know, it's time to pull that back in, especially, um, you know, no matter what path you're on, we can find people in situations that we think, um, might resonate with what we're going through only to find out later they're they, they're kind of just no good for us right and i feel like for whoever i'm talking to um it's with people um family friendships romantic um partnerships you know um i feel like somebody's just kind of taking your energy away taking your vibration away and it's time to kind of pull yourself back in and for whoever i'm talking to i feel like you kind of know that you need to do that for your best investment into yourself all right, so your energy as of late, um, you guys have the three of Gabriel that just popped out. Prosperity arising from wise planning and it's time to take uh, the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. Um, this right here is like the three of wands. So waiting for your ships to come in. Um, so your energy as of late, it could just be like, when are things gonna change? Whether it's the, uh, the person, the situation, whatever's kind of pulling your energy down. Um, I just feel like you've, you've been kind of waiting for something to change, like an outcome or a situation to kind of turn a new leaf, right? So let's, that's just kind of where I see you guys. And it could be, it's like when you have the, you have like a craving for something, you don't know what it is. You don't know what needs to change. It's like, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I feel deep inside. You guys kind of know what you need to do to kind of, um, you know, manipulate the flow of energy to have that um, come back in your favor, if that makes sense. So let's see um, what it is you can release for the new moon so that you can call something in. Let's see what it is for Aries. These cards are so big, I have to do it a different way. All right, so what you can release, we have the Emperor card coming through and um, the Emperor card actually showed up in reverse. So there could be some distorted masculine energy um, that you're kind of having a hard time um, flowing with. All right, this right here is stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation and ambitious plans. Now, what I kind of feel like with this um, Emperor card, remember I was saying family, relationships, friendships, etc. I just feel like there could be some distorted views coming through um, that are kind of reflecting on you. And it's like, it doesn't really resonate with your energy. And if you're giving your time, effort, and your positive energy to somebody that doesn't quite deserve it, um, I feel like it's time to let that person go. It doesn't mean that you're going to let them go forever. But if this person is really near and dear to your heart and they're just draining you energetically, um, it's time to just kind of walk away from that for now. So I feel like what you can release is your expectations that you might have had or held um, when it comes to somebody very near and dear to your heart. You also have the Knight of Raphael that's coming through in reverse. This is the Knight of Cups. 
This right here is dealing with people who are moody, jealous. Um, they have unreal ex unrealistic expectations and they're, um, they could be quite overactive no matter how attracted you are to them all right this right here is um you know romance it's dramatic energy poetic introspective committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet in situations or topics that make your heart flutter so with the fact that this card comes through in reverse it's telling me that you do have a very very special connection to somebody and i feel like things are not navigating um towards the distance that you want to go with this person it, you know a romantic or a very very close um relationship relationship with somebody is kind of what I'm feeling here. And I feel like what the world is saying is, you know, don't let this person drain your authenticity. Don't let them drain who you are. Don't give all your positive energy um, and, and vibrations to somebody who is not in that deserving mode, you guys. So I feel like what spirit's kind of saying is just to walk away from the situation and, and you will see um, some, some peace um, be brought in on those ships, that change that you're waiting for. It's almost like sometimes um, things won't change unless we pull our our attention and our energy completely away from it. And it doesn't mean that you're playing fucking games with the, this person, you guys. Um, I, I'm not somebody who believes in games, but I've had my own situations where I'm like, I'm not chasing nobody. I'm not giving them my energy. Um, if they really want me in their life, they will change. Um, you know, they will um, go the distance. They will match. At least they will match my own energy, my own output. So with releasing the situation for now, let's see what you can call in. What's coming to you on this new moon? What comes through once you release the energy vampire? Peace. My um, Archangel Azrael, release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Um, with peace coming through, um, that's card 13. Um, I believe that is... Um, I can't remember what uh, card 13 is on the Major Arcana. Um, I want to say it's the Hangman, but I'm not quite sure. It might even be the Tower. Um, but it's like once you kind of um, release the situation that I feel is the most energetically draining onto you, um, what you can call in is peace. And what you can ask for on this new moon is peace of mind when it comes to the situation. Even if you um, leave it for now, um, ask your angels, ask your spirit guides to bring you peace um, and clarity over the situation that's going on. And I do feel like it is with this situation that's very near and dear to your heart space. Um, but once you kind of release and walk away from the person that's draining you, um, you will find peace call that piece in ask for clarity whoever i'm talking to um i feel like you may not be in touch with your own angels and spirit guides very much and you got to remember that um they don't come and intervene in our life if we don't ask them to all right you guys have the five of michael coming through as something for the new moon um this right here is um it's like the five of swords this is war battle and conflict so ask for peace when it comes to the mental conflict that might be surrounding your your um, your mind space the situation doesn't serve you release your attachment to the outcome and consider taking a more uplifting approach all right so what what is coming to you on this new moon is once you release this i do feel that this situation in particular that's very very strong on your heart space um, there becomes a reconciliation because the five of swords is reconciliation it's surrendering it's the olive branch okay so that's what happens so once you walk away i do feel that you get this outcome that you want so your message to stay in the moment look at that you have changed your life with archangel um, shamuel a sudden revela revelation that offers freedom break free of procrastination embrace the opportunities that change brings um i'm actually thinking that peace that's temperance this right here is got to be the tower card all right um so uh right here yeah you get temperance along with that mental um um I think it's temperance, you guys. I'm getting all mixed. I'm getting mixed up, but my head is um, full of air right now. Um, anyways, it doesn't matter, you guys. Um, your your advice to stay in the moment is, you know, change your life. I mean, you kind of know that if there's a situation, a person, um, you know, that's that's that you really struggle with, it, it's time to change the aspect. It doesn't mean that you're going to lose that person. You guys, um, you just never know what um, positive flow of energy might be called back into you once you walk away from it. Um, maybe somebody will actually see changes they need to make in their own heart space. All right, Aries, I'm going to leave it there and we're going to move on to Leo. All right. Hey there, Leo. So let's get your um, moon reading. This is for the new moon and let's see what Oracle card comes through for you. Um, you got the full moon and Sagittarius coming through. Look at the bigger picture, all right? So whatever's kind of on your, your heart space and in your mind space, the biggest, 
Um, it's time to take a look at that bigger picture. All right. So there's something I feel that maybe you're not seeing, maybe you're missing, or maybe um, things are just not making sense right now. You know, when it comes to whatever it is, it's on your heart space, but you got to look at the bigger picture in order to kind of see, um, uh, you know, or have a revelation for what's to come. Okay. Um, and some of you guys with this card right here, I just got to tell you, it could be that we're kind of blocking ourselves from seeing what's actually being shown to us. You know, um, when it comes to matters of the heart, when it comes to why I didn't get this job, when it comes to something that maybe is not happening for you or coming through. Um, there's some, it, basically what spirit is saying is there is something bigger here and you know, it could be for the best of whatever is currently happening in your life right now. Um, I'm going to pull more to see what's going on with you, but I do want to pull a, a, another message for Leo. All right, so we have happiness is my birthright coming through. And that is true. That is true. And I choose love no matter what. All right, so those are your messages, the side note messages. Now let's see what your energy has been. Um, and I'm sure that this will line up with that, that moon card. I'm going to put those back because I don't like the way they fell. There we go. All right, so we have the Knight of Gabriel with your current energy. This is confidence. It's enthusiastic, um, courageous, and charismatic. It's time to take action. Great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. And this guy actually showed up in reverse. So when the Knight of Wands shows up in reverse, this is somebody who, could, who can be easily frustrated, scattered energy, somebody who operates in haste. All right. So with the Knight of Gabriel coming through as your current energy, um, I feel like if you're not seeing something, a, a bigger picture, especially when it comes to a situation, you could have lots of scattered energy. You could be less than enthusiastic right now. Um, and it's because like something, it, I'm almost feeling like something is just not going your way. It's not panning out the way you thought it would. All right. So let's see what you can release. What does Leo need to release when it comes to your current energy? What do you need to release? All right, so we have perspective with Archangel Shamuel. There is a better way. Pause for reflection and insight and dare to be different. Oh, this is the hangman. I think I had that wrong. All right, anyways, I'm thinking of something else. I'm going off key. Um, this right here is illusion. It's delusion and uncertainty when it comes to the situation that's on your heart space. Um, and I feel like it could be in any area of life. All right, um, this right here, the hangman, and there, and right here, the moon card. Look at the bigger picture. You got perspective coming through. What I feel is happening here with what you guys need to release is illusion and uncertainty when it comes to the sit that in. Hang on, guys. Okay, I am having um, some a little episode with my my sinuses and all that, you guys. So coming back to this um, hangman card, um, this perspective, you got to look at the bigger picture. Um, so what I'm going to say with this energy, it doesn't matter what the situation is, um, if it's business, money, financial, romance, family, friendships, um, whatever the situation is, basically has, has given you, um, it's a disillusioned feeling when it comes to the matter, all right? And, you know, I feel like um, what Spirit's kind of saying with this hangman card is to kind of release the expectation of what you thought the situation is, all right? That's where you pause for um, reflection and you, you try to look at the bigger picture. And I feel like whatever situation on your heart space, all right, whatever the situation is to you, I feel like for whoever I'm talking to, if it's, if it's giving you um, some off-kilter vibration or energy, it's kind of like you already know what's going on behind the scenes of this and you kind of know that you have to let it go in order to receive um, some more positive energy. It's almost like you guys know that, that you need to kind of let, let go or quit the situation at hand, um, but you're kind of holding on to it maybe even to see if things change, all right? So what you can let go of, of right now is maybe some Ill, um, the delusion that the situation is bringing because I feel like for whoever I'm talking to, you kind of know that there needs to be a different way to navigate the situation. All right. So your next card coming through is the chariot. The chariot actually came through in reverse. Um, this is Archangel Metatron. Determination and self-control. 
career advancement and acknowledgement of success by others. Okay, so no matter what your situation is, whether it's business or relationship aspects, what you can let go of, all right, so you have the hangman and you have the chariot and this card comes in reverse. It's almost like you kind of know, it's like you're saying this, um, whatever the situation is, it's not happening. It's not moving forward. And I feel like it's kind of given you that buzzkill. Okay. What you need to take, what you need to, to move past. And I feel for whoever I'm talking to, you kind of already know this is you can't look at a situation with negative energy because what's happening is, um, when you look at the, the situation with negative energy, it, it continues to call in negative energy towards the situation. And I feel for whoever I'm talking to, you already know that. Um, but it's like, but things aren't changing, but things aren't changing. And it's like, but they will, you just have to take a step back away from that. Looking at the bigger picture, um, whoever I'm talking to, I feel like you kind of know um, how to manipulate energy. You kind of know how all that works. And I feel like I'm not telling you something that you don't already know. So it's like, once you take a step back and you pull out of the negative um, uh, um, thought process, the negative aspects towards the situation, um, I feel like you're going to see what needs to be brought to light. Okay. So as far as what you can release is basically, I'm going to say the negative thinking or the negative appearance or the negative illusion that is instilled on this. If you're dealing with somebody who's not changing, if you're dealing with a job or income or business or money, and it's not changing, um, you need to kind of look towards the future as with positive change and positive hope. Okay. So let's just see what happens when you kind of release um, the fact that this situation is not moving forward and release the uncertainty. And I feel the negative energy that's kind of um, coming with that situation. Let's just see what's favorable for you. What, what can you ask for on this new moon? What is coming to you? All right. <laughs> All right, look at that. The seven of Gabriel, stand up for what you believe in, have confidence and claim your personal power. Um, so I feel like the, the, this new moon is really going to be favorable. So it's like, you already know like what you have to release. All right. In order to kind of call in what it is you want. And this all right, right here is all about believing in yourself. So maybe even asking the universe to um, um, supplement and bring you more confidence in what it is that you're trying to call in here. All right, this right here, um, believing in yourself, claiming your personal power. And what was I just saying, you guys, like whoever I'm talking to, it's like, I'm not telling you something that you don't already know. All right, so I feel like the new moon is favoring you by asking just for your own like mental clarity, your peace of mind, um, and whatever the situation is that's not moving forward, you, um, it's time to call that in with confidence. So whatever it is you're trying to change, whatever it is you want to see grow, it's time to call that in with confidence, all right? And then you got the King of Gabriel, generous, inspirational, dramatic, and driven. I feel like for whoever I'm talking to, it could be on the more of the business side of things. Um, it doesn't have to be, but keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others and experience that leads to success. All right. Genuine concerns for others. So I feel like, um, you know, what you're at, what is favorable for you is to kind of ask the universe um, to put you back in this energy of the King of Gabriel. That's all fire energy, fire energy, fire energy. All right. And I feel like, you know, um, the most benefit that's going to come to you on this new moon is just putting your intention, setting your intentions, setting your manifestations out there to bring you back into your, your true self. All right. Um, I feel like you've hit a snag. Okay. With perspective and the chariot in reverse, you've hit a snag and it's like, I just need to feel like myself. I just want my, like where things were two months ago or six months ago. I want to feel like that. I want to bring that energy back into me. All right. I need to see clarity and I need to see peace and, you know, um, ask for protection when it comes to the situation that is kind of doing you a disservice right now. Um, it doesn't matter how small it is. I just feel like you're, this, um, situation has put you in a, in a spot where you have not been yourself. And I don't know how long you haven't been yourself, but things that have not been progressing, they have not been moving forward. And I feel like this could actually just be simple as asking for clarity on mental blocks. All right. So I just feel like where you guys are at with this new moon is asking to kind of pull back in um, who you know yourself to be like, you know, it's time to call back in um, your, your energy your own energy. Um, and you know, sometimes these uh, moon readings, it doesn't have to be about getting something, but putting us back into the situation where we feel like ourselves, that's enough. And, um, I'm not trying to prolong this read, but I have to tell you guys, um, with the flood that happened at my house, uh, in November, 
we are still in an Airbnb and you know, um, my car broke down. And so I'm like processing all of this stuff. Like I had to get a new car. Um, all this stuff is happening when I'm out of my comfort zone. And, um, I, you know, um, the kids and I have come down with some head colds and, um, I, it's like just the, the most uncomfortable spot one could be in. And, and just to be at, back at home, it's like, I just want to be home. I want to be in my space. I want to, um, be with my, my, uh, in, you know, in my room, I want to go back to my meditation routine. I want to be able to burn sage in my house. Like I just want to go back to the, the, the things. And, um, I have no Leo in my chart, but, um, the miscommunication with the insurance company and the miscommunication with the contractors. Um, it's all put me in this really shitty, um, you know, it, it has disillusioned my pers my perception about where, where are we going to go and how come things aren't changing? Um, but I know that, um, that's just my, my third dimensional self. That's my ego talking. And I know that things are going to be back together and I can see a bigger picture. It's just not coming fast enough, you know, and I feel like something as simple as that could be where you're at, you know, um, it could be, um, you know, for you, it might be your job. It might be, um, income. It might be a business partner. It might be a family member. It might be a friendship. It might be a romantic relationship. I feel like it could be anywhere, no matter how big or small, you know? Um, but I mean, for me to be back in my house, that little simple tweak would just, uh, I would feel like myself tomorrow, you know? So your advice to stay in the now, your advice to live in the moment. You have the Ace of Michael, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. And for whatever situation is not moving forward, all right, your advice to live in the now. I mean, look at that. Clear up communication problems with others. It could be something as, as simple as a miscommunication with somebody very important to your life. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it there and we're going to move to Sagittarius. I hope this was helpful and I hope I didn't rant too long. You guys take care. All right, Sagittarius. So let's see what messages come through. The new moon read for you guys. Well, let me get my cards together, man. Okay, so you guys have the south node. Don't let your past hold you back, okay? So something could be um, kind of transitioning out of your life. It could be that somebody's popped back into your life. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be in any and all scales. It could be friendships, family. It could be a job. It could be anything that kind of hindered your growth once before. And look at that. Let, don't let your past hold you back. Um, I really like seeing that card because it reminds me... Um, um, just the north nodes and south nodes. Um, I don't know if you guys follow star seeds, but the south nodes, um, uh, it, when I do graphing for those charts, um, the south node is where we come from when it comes to um, the galaxies and, and um, all that all that cool stuff. North node is where we're going once we pass. Um, so that's just a really cool to kind of see that. So, um, and the reason why I'm, the reason why I feel like it's cool is because um, this is where we came from. So like in past existences, um, so don't let your past hold you back. Um, so the past, don't let it hold you back, you guys. So let's see what your message is. Sagittarius. All right. You guys have, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. Um, in this card right here, um, praying for an outcome, you know, you don't want to talk to the universe or God. Um, and, and, you know, when we pray for a certain outcome, um, it could be in desperation and the universe doesn't hear desperation. You know, the universe wants to hear that you're fluid, you're flowing with the, with the universe, you're flowing with God. Um, it's like having this knowing that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to work out to the highest good for you. All right. So let's see what this, this, this is. I almost just used a cuss word right there. Let's see what this shit is, man. What's going on? Sagittarius. Let's see what your current energy is. What is your current energy? These cards are really big, so I got to shuffle different. You got a strength card coming through with Archangel Ariel. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. Look at that. Forgiveness. Okay, so don't let that past hold you back in that forgiveness card. Um, forgiveness. It could be that maybe you guys are expecting or wanting to um, give somebody, um, you know, um, some apologies, or maybe you're expecting some apology. Uh, but here's what I'm going to say. Don't let the past hold you back, you guys. When it comes to releasing so that we can move forward and call in our highest good, um, 
we can kind of skip, you know, wanting to reach out and extend apologies or waiting and expecting apologies from somebody. We can skip all that and just go right to forgiveness. And then, you know, it's up to you whether or not you want to deal with that energy anymore. As long as you can forgive the situation, forgive yourself for holding on to pain, forgive this person for hurting you or forgiving yourself for hurting somebody. As long as you truly kind of walk with the uh, authenticity or the authentic um, version of forgiveness, you will move forward no matter what. All right. So let's see what you can release. What can you release? All right. So we have the Ace of Raphael, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships and deep and lasting spiritual insights. So the fact that the Ace of Cups is coming through on the release, there could have been an expectation that didn't kind of work well in the past. It could have been a new beginning. It could have been somebody ghosting you. It could have been just you trying to um, recalibrate a situation with a friend or a family member, and it just didn't pan out. So it could be because of differences in opinions, differences differences in, in views. Um, you know that that could really be on any scale. It could be romantic again with family. Um, it's like I've given my you know my brother or my sister or my cousin chance after chance, and and it just never flows. Um, it's time to release any and all expectations of of maybe where your heart space and your head space was at with this person. All right. Um, it, it didn't pan out um, and it's time to just kind of walk forward um, without even kind of letting that cloud your energy or your mind space. You guys also have the page of Raphael, gentle, loving, uh, dreamy and open hearted, a new emotional um, situation, messages regarding relationships or social invitations and great intuitive insights. I'm reading all the energy of this card, but what I feel you got going on here is a possible romantic situation or as somebody deeply connected to your heart space, you got new beginnings in love coming through here. And I feel like what spirit's kind of saying is, is to release the expected outcome. Maybe this person ghosted you. Maybe they screwed with your mind space. Maybe they screwed with your heart space, but you know, spirit's just kind of saying, you know, once we let that go, we have the power to kind of move forward. You guys could be kind of trying to call this person back in or call the situation back in. But when it's like when we're praying for an outcome, um, it, it could just come back through as something that we're not expecting. Um, I, my ex, uh, I used to like pray to God that we would just heal. We would repair and we would, you know, like come back together. That's all I wanted was to come back together. I just want him back. I just want to come back. All right. And what I found out is, um, if we would get back together, all right, but it, it was always, it would always just leave, uh, the, uh, the, in broken pieces, scattered energy. Um, and I found it out later, you know, this has been years ago, but I, I find later um, that that wasn't the best thing to be doing. All right. Praying for the highest good. OK, so I feel like whatever, um, you know, situation you're kind of going through, um, spirits just saying have the strength to kind of walk away, forgive it and then just so that you can heal and move forward. So when you let go of this situation, let's see what's favorable. What is coming to you this new moon? What comes to you? All right, you guys have the four of Raphael. Seek out other possibilities, look for magic in life, and be aware of your own emotions. This is so much energy right here. Um, this right here, I do feel, is something that's coming back into you. All right, and you have the six of Michael. It's light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation, or travel. So I'm almost feeling like something is not working out. And I do feel like it's romantic, but again, you're going to have to put that to the situation that, um, you know, whether it's family, friendships, romance, um, I feel like you guys are dealing with a romantic or I feel the heaviest energy coming through is romance. And sometimes when we walk away from the situation that is not filling us right now, the situation will come back through. And what I can see right here is um, this is a, a, it, it's an opportunity that comes back to you and one that does move forward in positive light and energy. All right. So ask for the, the ask for the highest good when it comes to this situation on your mind to come back through and move forward in the manner in which it's supposed to, whether it's um, for, to forgive the past and move forward for closure or just to kind of um, move, move in. So that move in, a, in such a way that you guys are just creating um, a positive energetic flow. OK, so I feel like no matter what happens, once you leave the situation as it sits and forgive it, release it there is gonna be a transition that comes through and I do feel like it is the same situation and it's gonna come through in such a way that you guys do move forward 
in a fluid, um, positive manner, all right? So your advice to live in the moment, you have the queen of uh, Michael, brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous, you know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience and it's time um, for you to focus on career rather than relationships. Okay, how does that tie in? The queen of Michael is also telling you when the situation comes back through, to be honest about where your heart sits with this connection. Um, you know, be truthful, set boundaries, be direct and be clear, you guys. Sag, I'm going to leave it there. You guys take care.